much better today you guys I am feel like I'm probably 85% back to myself I don't feel sleepy or lethargic or anything um, no we're not doing games anyway <laughs> I think that I figured out what my problem was the last few days you guys so my doctor gave me four different types of medications like I've got like singular and some steroids and some antibiotics and some other type of stuff. I don't even know what it is, but I'm supposed to take it. So I read the directions on all the medicine and I thought I was doing what I needed to do. But there was one medication that I did not read thoroughly and I knew I only needed to take one a day, but I didn't look at the time of the day that I needed to take it. So it said take one before bedtime because it causes extreme drowsiness. Like it's marked extreme drowsiness may occur. So I was just taking it in the mornings with the rest of my medicine because I'm only supposed to take it all once a day anyway. So I was just getting it all out of the way in the morning. Well, apparently that one medication really does cause extreme drowsiness because that's how, exactly how I felt the last few days and I could not figure out what was wrong with me. I thought I like had some, some, some sort of something else going on because I could not keep my eyes open, you guys. Like, could not keep my eyes open. But I feel much better today. I feel a little bit more productive. Um, I have not taken that medicine this morning, so I'm not gonna take it until this afternoon. Narquise is home with me today. He kinda had a rough morning, and we thought he'd just hang out here, huh? Oh. Yeah, I know, and he just fell, y'all. He, he's so independent, and it's good that he's independent. It's a good thing. But he falls all the time, you guys. He just, he wanted to get up, up in the chair by himself. And I let him, but I kind of supervised him. And then as he was like getting the, all, the whole way onto the chair, he flipped over and like kind of hit his head on the box on the floor. He's okay. It's not a big deal. He's super tough. What, buddy? No, Piper has my phone right now, okay? Piper has my phone right now. It's her turn. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying to clean up what I neglected to clean the last two or three days. Oh, Lord. Um, I just have so much to get done. So I'm thankful to have a day just at home to kind of focus on housework and laundry and cleaning and mopping and all that kind of stuff. This room is a mess. I've got to clean up everything in here. Um, no, I'm sorry. My camera is not wanting to focus today. Oh, detox is going really good. I'm feeling good today. This is like the fifth day of the cleanse aspect of the detox. Yesterday it was hard, y'all. It was really bothering me yesterday, but I, I think I'm doing better today. Yes. What, honey? No, you just had a snack. You just had two pieces of bread. Oh, oh my goodness. No. I'm ready for her to start school, y'all. She. It's, she is ready to start school. It's really nothing to do with me. Narky is Tisha. Now you just ate breakfast too, you turkey. You just ate breakfast too. He had eggs and sausage and milk probably not even 20 minutes ago. And he's already like, Mama, um, food. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. I think he gets a little bit bored when he's being at home. That's why I've got him sitting in the kitchen because I'm in here cleaning and really like doing a bunch of stuff. So I can kind of talk to him and we can chat and... I can get some things done and it's kind of something for him to kind of watch. It's, he's not just sitting and staring and not doing anything. But at any rate, it is just a cleaning day. And then the girls are going bowling tonight um, with some family. Um, and then tomorrow we have the birthday party. And speaking of which, today is Friday, so I probably need to nail down a cake today. Pretty sure. Need to nail down the cake and some other things, some gifts and all that kind of thing. Um, I think I'll go do that when my husband gets off work. He's, I'm hoping he gets off work early today. Um, he said he might be able to get off around like noon. So I'm fingers crossed, fingers really crossed that he gets off early and um, I can go get a few little other things for Piper 
and get the cake nailed down. I think we're just going to do a simple like sheet cake because she wants a dinosaur cake. So I think we're just going to do a sheet cake and I'm going to put like little plastic dinosaurs on top of it. Simple, easy, no big deal. <laughs> So while I'm putting dishes away, <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, with your kids, do you guys do just judgment calls? Because I feel like, especially with Narkees, I find myself doing this a lot. And I do it with Aiden as well. And maybe it's because my children are special needs and, well, two of my four are special needs. And some days I just feel like they benefit better. They will, I don't know how to explain it. They will more greatly benefit from staying at home than they would going to school. For instance, he didn't sleep well last night. He's not feeling super awesome. He's got a low grade fever, you know, just that type of thing. But he could probably go to school and be okay. But I just feel like he would benefit more from being at home with mom today. So I let him stay home. So do you guys do that? I don't know. But then I feel like the absences for my boys kind of just racks up. Like they just rack up absences. Um, but it's all because I'm just using judgment calls and you know, some days they are past and their trauma and whatnot, and even if it's not past related, um, sometimes the autism or whatever, with, especially with Aiden, it just kind of takes hold of him that day and he wouldn't benefit from going to school. So I don't know. I don't know. I got an email. I, I mentioned this because I got an email from the school board about Aiden, um, like for truancy, and truancy just means like you, your child has not attended blah 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 amount of days or they don't have enough excused absences to cover the amount of time they've been out whatever whatever and it's not a big deal usually with them all I have to do is call them and explain to them over the phone what the deal is what's been going on and I have to write a note and I do write a note every time they're out and explain as to why they are out but I don't know sometimes I feel like the school board or the school system whatever whoever it is that makes these deciding factors needs to have some sort of different game plan in place for special needs children um, because sometimes you just have to stay home and it's just one of those days you know it's just one of those days it's not for my convenience surely you know of course it's easier for me if he goes to school I mean I'm not keeping him home for my own convenience but I don't know I don't know guys it's just it's one of those new nuances to being a special needs parent that I'm kind of like that I'm not quite getting because I don't usually, I like, I'd never leave Zoe home from school or anything, but you know, she's not a special needs child. I don't know y'all. Sometimes I just have to be home. What buddy? Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's been saying mama, mama, mama. And I finally look over. I'm like, what do you need? He goes, hi. <laughs> He's so sweet. So I'm getting my pot of tea ready. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because I told you guys during this detox, I was going to be ridiculously honest. I kind of cheated yesterday. I did. I kind of cheated. Not majorly, but like I shouldn't have done it. So I was really wanting coffee. I was just really, really wanting coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Narki, you want coffee? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not making coffee right now. I'm making tea, but I'll give you some. Um, anyway, I'm making tea right now, y'all. I'm not making coffee. I just like to make my tea in the coffee maker. But yesterday, I I'd made coffee and I drank coffee yesterday. I'm sorry. However, I I had okay. Let me show you guys the cup that I used yesterday. I'm not supposed to have coffee on this detox, and I know that. I totally know that. Where is the cup that I used? Where did it go? I have like one like minuscule like tiny tiny teacup. It's like a this size cup, only it's like up to here. So it, it's really, really tiny. I don't see it. I think my husband may have taken it downstairs with him this morning. Anyway, I made decaf coffee. It was decaffeinated. I did not put any cream in it. I did not put any sugar in it. I just had it black. It was just black decaf coffee. And it was like this much in the cup. And that is all I had. Yes. But yes. I think that's still considered cheating. I'm pretty sure that I was not supposed to do that, y'all. Yeah. But I, yes. you don't understand. This medication was hey sweet girl y'all she still has a little scab nose she still hasn't changed clothes from yesterday <laughs> oh y'all the medication yeah. yesterday was just making me so sleepy and i could not Mama. function like couldn't even like walk down the hallway kind of function Mama. yes sweetie um I'm something no we're not eating again y'all she does this thing where she's bored she'll just want to eat 
and she's already with had breakfast, daddy. and I will not I'll allow her to eat. Daddy. We're not eating with daddy today. We ate with daddy yesterday. I will not allow her to eat, eat um, until lunchtime now because it's 10. It's like, well, no, it's not 10. It's like 9.45, but she eats lunch at 11, and she just had a snack after breakfast, so we're not eating again. No, sweetie. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Oh, y'all. I don't know what... And it's only her. None of my other children do this. It's only Piper. She eats out of boredom. Like, I have never seen a child eat that much out of boredom. And it doesn't bother me if she eats, like, healthy stuff, but... No. No. Trey! Piper. Apple juice. How about you get some water? Mmm. Here, let me see it. Alright, guys. So, I got out of the shower. Feeling a little bit better. My hair's still wet. I haven't even brushed it out yet. That's okay. So, I am... Having a cup of tea. Man, I made it way freaking dark, you guys. It almost looks black. I put this, um, gosh, what tea was it? It's two packets of the Arbonne Detox Tea, and then I added, oh gosh, what is it? It's like this licorice tea. It, it has licorice on it. I put it up in the other cabinet. Um, but it's like this black licorice tea, and I put a pack of like a tea bag of that in there as well and I like squeezed it all in and it looks super black and I may have made it way too strong but you guys that is how I like my tea and that's how I avoid wanting to put like sugar in my tea or um, other things that I shouldn't put in my tea I just make it super super strong um, and it's all caffeine free so there is no caffeine in it but anyway yeah just cleaning up the house I need to do my dishes I need to finish folding some clothes I need to vacuum my floor um, just, oh, you guys, I'm, it is so nice to have a day at the house, honestly. I am just enjoying being at home, and I don't have anything to do other than, like, normal, everyday things until the bus comes home, and it's nice. And I do need to go out when my husband gets home and do birthday stuff outside of the house, but I have to do that by myself. I can't take kids with me to go do that. So, Anyway, I keep trying to get Piper to change her clothes, you guys. Because she wore this yesterday, but she doesn't want to change clothes. She really likes this outfit. So she's still wearing her cheetah, her cheetah stripes. And she, she did take her, let me see your nosy. She did take her band-aid off of her nosy, so we have a little scab nose. Mama. Yes, honey. I have Cheetos. We don't have any Cheetos, sweetie. It's for dinner. No, Zoe ate them all with her dinner last night. We don't have any Cheetos. We've got some Doritos, but those aren't really healthy. How about I slice you up an apple? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds healthier, huh? I wanted to address another topic. So I was recently asked this on my Facebook page. And it's a totally fine question. I don't mind the question at all. I, I totally get it. Um, but I was asked recently on my Facebook page, and it's not the first time. I, over the last month or two, I've been asked the same question rather frequently, whether it's in comments or messages or whatnot, is do I ever discipline my children and do my children ever have consequences or punishments for their actions? So I'm going to just address the general vlogging, vlogging issue with this. So we do daily vlogs. Just because we daily vlog does not mean we daily vlog everything. Um, for instance, like I brushed my teeth this morning. But you guys didn't see me brush my teeth. I didn't film myself brushing my teeth, but it doesn't mean that I didn't brush my teeth. So it's one of those, I don't know, it's just it's one of those like things, you know. I have a rule, and this is just my personal rule. I don't know about other daily vloggers. I don't know how they work, but I will never reprimand my children on camera. Number one, it makes, it makes the situation <clears throat> seem lightened if they see me filming. Because usually when I'm filming, you know, I'm we're in a good mood and things are going pretty well. I do try to film as much real, real stuff for you guys as possible. And I know y'all do see my kids argue and fight and fuss and, you know, not be the nicest of children. Um, <clears throat> and in those instances, that is very much real. However, when it comes to discipline, I will always turn the camera off. Serious discipline the camera goes off because they see me filming and they don't take it as seriously or they think I'm joking or whatever whatever um, also my six-year-old specifically does not want she and she'll tell me she's like mama please don't ever put me online if I'm upset and having a fit or if I'm in timeout and 
I respect that. I totally respect that. And I think that that same principle rule applies for all of my children. I wouldn't want to put them on the internet acting that way. Um, that's just, that's that would not be smart of me as a parent to do that. So, no. I do not ever reprimand my children on camera. However, they definitely are often punished and disciplined. Um, <clears throat> as far as what and how we punish them, like what we use to punish them or how they are punished, it varies for each individual child, you guys. Like for instance, for Aiden, very minimal to no punishment at all goes into place other than telling him no and correcting his behavior in a gentle manner. Um, that's kind of the only cor like corrections that go on with him. He is mentally around 14 to 18 months. So that's all that he understands and anything else is just either going to be traumatic or confusing for him at this point. With Narkees, usually his punishment consists of timeouts. That's pretty much all he will get are timeouts. He gets timeouts, he understands why he goes to timeout, and it gives him time to think and kind of collect his thoughts and realize what he did wrong. And that, I mean, seriously, 99.9% .9 of the time, a five minute timeout works great for him and that's not a problem. For the girls, however, leave my computer alone, please. For the girls, however, it's, it is a lot more regimented and a little bit more strict. Um, Zoe and Piper, definitely, they get restrictions, they get things taken away, they lose TV time, they lose dessert, they lose their sticker for the day, they have to pull a net, a, an extra chore out of our chore jar. We have a chore jar which consists of a bunch of different chores on pieces of paper um, that they have to pull out and do. This is not... This is not just a chore that they have to go do because they have normal chores that they have to do every single day, no matter what, that just comes from being a member of a productive household. Chores they have to do, make your bed, brush your teeth, pick up your clothes, take your clothes to the laundry hamper. All of those types of things are daily chores. Um, when they pull a chore out of the chore jar, it's like a chore they don't usually have to do, um, like change the cat litter or go downstairs and mop all the floors for me or wash the windows or those are just things that I typically do. So I have those chores in there so when they are trouble or they are being punished or they need a little bit more focus in their lives, <laughs> they can go do one of those chores and and think about it and figure things out for themselves. So yes, punishments definitely happen in this house. You cannot raise kids without discipline, y'all. Kids need discipline. It is a necessity. It is how it is how you grow up to be productive members of society and know right from wrong and how to treat others. So discipline is important and yes we do discipline our children just not on camera. So a lot of times if you guys see my kids starting to get really fussy or kind of arguing and then the camera will suddenly cut off that's when they they're getting disciplined <laughs> and I just cut the camera off. But anyway I just wanted to address that. Um, I know it's I know people hear like daily vlogs and you assume, I mean, I guess it's natural too because I used to assume the same thing when I watched other daily vloggers, but yes. um, you just assume that you see everything, you know, and you don't, it's not true. You don't see everything. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. I'm gonna finish cleaning up my house and spend time with my babies and I'll see you guys in a minute. So I responded to my first like rude comment in a really long time when you do YouTube you're gonna get rude comments you know like people are gonna be mean people are gonna be rude people are gonna say mean things blah 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 it happens no matter who you are you're gonna get some of the negative negative stuff going on well I usually will just delete the comment and I don't say anything and I'm really really good about that and I don't let comments bother me I don't let comments get to me nothing like that but for some reason there was a comment on one of my videos this morning that just, I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way and I couldn't stand it and I responded and I went back and looked at it a few minutes ago and I maybe should not have responded the way that I did. I should have maybe thought about it a little bit more and been a little bit more tactful, been a little bit nicer about it, but this person was really rude. Just really rude. I'm not going to say which video it's on because I don't want you guys going over there and yelling at them or anything like that, but I should not have responded. I should have just let it go because some people are just ignorant and there's nothing you can do about it um, other than be a good person and educate them through your actions. So 
Oh, lesson learned. I, I may go back and delete it, but I think they've already like responded back. And so now my challenge is going to be not again, responding back to that comment, but truthfully, you guys comments, negative comments don't bother me probably 99.9% .9 of the time. I just let them roll off my shoulder. Oh, I should have found a different place to put these cards. You guys I've hung like all of my family's birthday cards right up here. And uh, I can't close the cabinet, but I'm not tall enough to reach the cards to move them. So I can close the cabinet, if that makes sense. <laughs> I didn't know the camera was on. Anyway, I think I got most of my kitchen clean. Y'all, I feel like today's vlog is going to be ridiculously long. I'm not sure why I'm pulling out the camera so much, but I'm just talking to you guys a lot today. I'm extra chatty, and I think it's because I feel so good today. Um, hey. I definitely am not like totally better, but hey, I feel about a thousand percent better than I did yesterday. And I'm get, I'm moving, you guys. I'm moving today. And uh, why are you moving? No, not that kind of moving. Like I'm, I'm moving. Like I'm getting things done and kind of moving. What are you doing? I like that. Oh my goodness. Um. Anyway, what's going on in, in the world of Little Piper? You got stickies all over your face. What's going on in your world? Hi. Tell me about what ha what's happening tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? I'm bowling. Bowling? No, that's happening tonight. What's happening tomorrow? Mm. I'm fine. No? Fine. No, we're not going to the farm. What? You're going, you're having your what? Uh. What are you having tomorrow? Uh, my best. Skating party. Yep, your birthday skating party. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. You know what mommy's got to do today? What? I got to go out and find you a cake yeah. for your birthday party. When the cooker comes. Yeah. What kind of cake are you gonna want? Um, that's a cake. No, well, I knew that, but what flavor? Um, um. Spaghetti flavored. No. Uh, cake. Cake flavor. <laughs> That's a good flavor for cake. No, 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 no. What flavor? No. Food. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Um. Are you a chocolate girl or a vanilla girl? Um, vanilla. Um, chocolate. You want a chocolate cake? Yes. Okay. It would be so yummy. And then the dinosaurs could just stomp through the mud, right? <laughs> oh, and the whole reason I pulled out the camera, um, as I was going through this, it made me think of it, though. Um, I've been getting emails from the boys' teachers asking if they're doing the uh, summer jump to it program or whatever. Um, for special needs children in our area, they have extended school, basically, and school will go until like July 1st, and the school bus will run every day and drop them off and pick them up, and it's great and wonderful. The only catch is that school's only for like four or five hours, like it's a shortened day, um, and they wanted to know if we were doing it, and I told them no. I said we weren't going to do it because, because it would tie us down to the hours between eight until one o'clock. Like we wouldn't be able to leave the house between eight and 1.30 or whenever the bus came because we would have to be kind of getting kids ready, getting the boys off to school, then we'd have to be at home when the bus came home. And the girls especially have a lot of summer activities that are going on this summer that won't allow us to be home every single day, Monday through Friday around one o'clock. And I just don't think that's fair to the girls and honestly I don't know that it's super fair to the boys either because I want them to have a fun summer with their family. I want to spend time with my sons, you know, like I would like to have some time with them. Um, and it's just kind of like our little family time, you know, and summer is my, summer is like my time to, I don't know how to explain it. It's just my time with my kids. You know, it's my time to do things with them, to do special things and have fun with them. And I feel like this summer, especially this summer, as opposed to last summer, because last summer they had only been home about five months and things were hard last summer. Last summer was very, very difficult. This summer we don't have a lot planned. We're just kind of staying home. We're taking it, we're doing the chill route <laughs> um, to summer vacation. Um, and we're not really doing anything. And I just think, 
we can really have some fun this summer because they're not as stressed out. They're a lot more used to life and family and they're excited, you know, they're just excited to experience some new things. So I'm excited for them to stay home. Um, on top of that, both boys are starting some pretty intense therapy sessions this summer as well. They're both going to be in physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy three days a week over the summer. And that's hopefully going to keep them caught up. They're so silly. It's probably going to keep them caught up academically um, throughout the summer until school starts back again. So that's the plan for the summer. But I don't think they're, that um, their teachers are super, super thrilled that we're not sending them. But... You know what can you do that's just that's just what's best for our family and I'm selfish I want my boys home um, and the therapy that they're gonna get in outside of school is also super beneficial because they haven't been getting that lately this little girl y'all y'all I need I keep saying this I need to do a review on these knobbies these are like the best things ever <laughs> Oh my goodness, they're they're really really amazing. <laughs> However, they're really really hard to get away from your kids too because I tell you we limit their time on them and they just oh it's like it's awful trying to pry those things out of their hands. And now I am going through Zoe's um, schoolwork that she brought home. You guys, I don't know if I updated you guys on her schooling situation. Um, yeah, we did make a decision to hold her back in first grade this upcoming school year um, just because she is so young. She's one of the youngest in her class. Honestly, <clears throat> if she had been born three days later, she wouldn't have even started kindergarten until this year. So we definitely took a risk by sending her to kindergarten way, way early. And it's okay. It's no big deal. The only area she's really like struggling in is just the reading um, aspect. And a big part of the reading issue is the dyslexia. So she's definitely going to need tutoring over the summer to help her with that and whatnot. And she only did half a year of public school first grade because she was homeschooled the first semester of first grade this year. So yeah, and she's improving, you guys. She's like, I see so much improvement on her all of her schoolwork. But anyway, I have to go through all of this and figure all of that out for her. Um, I do miss homeschooling her though y'all, I cannot lie. She has asked many, many times if we can homeschool again and I miss it. I really wish that we had the ability to homeschool and I guess I probably could, I could homeschool her again, but I don't know. I feel like it's also equally not good to pull her out and put her back and pull her out and put her back. So we're gonna give it another year, a solid year in public school because she's only there from February till May this year. So I feel like we need to give her a fair chance in public school before we revert back to homeschooling. But that's cute, you guys. She did a little, she wrote her name and then she did like a cat in uh, little stars. That's cute. Hey guys, okay, so I was editing the vlog and I didn't tell you guys goodbye again. I did not say goodbye. I don't know what the deal is. I just keep forgetting to come in and like actually close out the vlog. But anyway, it's actually today. Wanted to come in yesterday's vlog and tell you guys goodbye. And I hope you guys are all doing awesome. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.